Hello, my name is Brett Davies and I'm a barrister and solicitor. Now, for an employment contract to be valid, there is no requirement that you say in the employment contract when the employee is going to start. However, you must set out sufficient certainty in the employment contract and one of them is when will the employee start? Will it be as directed by the employer, by you? So you might do an exchange of emails. Say, look, John, you're going away on holidays now. That's fine, but we'd like you to start somewhere in January of next year. Is that okay with you? Good. Sign the employment contract and we'll agree that date another, at, at a later time. In which case, you'll put in as advised by the employer. If, however, you know the date, the actual date when the employer sorry, the employee is about to start, then you're welcome to select that button and then select the date as to when you want the employee or the employee agrees to start. If it's the case that the employee, for whatever reason, doesn't start on that date, that does not invalidate the employment contract. You do an exchange of emails, say, look, okay, you're, you're sick this week, we'll just start the following week. If you're unsure, please telephone us. When you deal with our website, you are dealing directly with a law firm and therefore you retain legal professional privilege, you retain professional indemnity insurance and you get legal advice. Only a law firm can offer all three of those things. So enjoy the benefits of dealing directly with a law firm.